Hey, what's up everyone? Bionic Kasai here and welcome back to another Chronicles of Darkness review. As promised, and I know it's a day late, but here is Medishiki, my girlfriend's self-mock, or Christy's self-mock. So, let's get straight into it and uh, start talking about her build and her, her story a bit. So, Mary is quite the interesting character. Um, similar to Kasai, she doesn't remember some of her past, which is mostly the early years of her life. Um, what she does remember was that at a very young age, she was found uh, adrift at sea, um, and she was picked up by an Austerian family. This is kind of a short version. Um, and her family was killed eventually, uh, and her sister disappeared. Adopted sister. Uh, so she became a bounty hunter and eventually got a contract to kill Akimu, and then Akimu defeated her while he was talking to the... Not yet, Toa Kureta and the Toa Masters. Um, and then she joined the Toa Kureta and is now an Akotan Guardian. So, Miri was part of a Bounty Hunters Guild. Uh, and this guild is called uh, the Dark Hunters. Uh, and its current members that have appeared in Chronicles of Darkness are Miri, formerly. Croza, formerly. Roach currently, and a bunch of puny bounty hunters, you know, like lame bounty hunters that Roach kills in the episode. Uh, formerly, because they're dead. Uh, and Miri was at one point the one of the top five bounty hunters, whereas Roach is number one. So uh, here's the design, pretty similar to Kasai uh, in the legs, and that's because Miri had this design first. So, Kasai's design was based off of hers. Moving up to the thigh and hip area, well, her leg armor is, uh, I would like it to be purple six longs, but I haven't been able to get those as of yet. Um, and then her uh, waist design, uh, pelvic crotch design, I guess. Is same as Kasai, it's got Borak eyes, it's mostly black. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Let's move up to the chest. So this is not the original Miri. I gave the original Miri to Christy, and this is a remake. Um, so it used to have some tubes over here, like... Or a tube piece, like Kasai does. But she doesn't have that, because I don't have any more tube pieces. Um, but yeah, so this torso design was originally made for Miri, as I have said before. So, yeah, I think it works wonderfully for her. Um, I think it just gives off that very feminine look quite well. And then with Kasai's shoulder pads, you can give off a pretty uh, masculine look. But yeah, I think she definitely pulls it off wonderfully. She looks amazing. Uh, here's a look under the hood, I suppose, and the torso design. Obviously, there's how-to and everything, but she has some purple studs right there. She has some purple studs in the arms. Uh, subtle details, like I like to do with these torso de designs, excuse me. Uh, arms are pretty basic. Uh, just bone, bone, stud, shell, shell, hand. Um, her head is interesting, let's move up. Well, I don't know, maybe you guys wouldn't consider this inter interesting per se, but, uh, so that's her head. It's a hand connector with two of these double axle connectors right there. Um, and then this is her ponytail. Whoopsies. That was not supposed to happen. She is not doing too good. Okay, let me see. Okay. Stop. Stand. Okay. Brick. 
Okay. There's her ponytail. That's the way it's designed. It's an old uh, bionicle, de bionicle design, putting the hand connectors like this, um, from G1 Mockists uh, back in the day, and still currently, you know, it's still used all the time. But yeah, so that's Miri. Uh, I love her, honestly. Maybe a little biased, because, I mean, she's my girlfriend, self mock, and she's voiced by my girlfriend, and she's based off my girlfriend. She's based on my girlfriend's favorite colors. Um, she's the bionicle embodiment of my girlfriend of Christy, so. But, uh, yeah, I think she's an amazing mock. I think she's an amazing character. She's a lot of fun. She's really cool. Um, definitely pretty badass. Uh, but yeah, and she's a great, her and, her and Kasai make such a, such a great pair, I think. Uh, let me just throw him in there real quick. Yeah, I think they just work so well together and complement each other so nicely, but, um, so let's get into her weapons. Um, she doesn't have the wide array that she used to, she's only got three at this point, but I'll show you guys those. So, here are Miri's weapons, and I think they're quite nice and very, uh, I think they fit very nicely with her. But, uh, here's her sniper rifle. Um, it's got a adjustable, uh, bipod. Um, it has lost some detail back, or over time, you know, it used to have a piece uh, up here, one of those hand connectors with the axle hole sticking straight forward. Um, that cracked and broke, so I couldn't use that anymore. Um, but that's really it. Um, it's also been cleaned up a bit, because I know that over a while ago, I think during its first design, some of these would alternate in color. It was like gray and black. Didn't like that, so I kind of streamlined it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I think it's a really cool uh, weapon. You know, you don't really get many guns in Chronicles of Darkness, so uh, I think it's cool. And then this is the crossbow that Kasai gave Miri in the Christmas special. So I like that a lot. Um, again, I think it fits her really well. Definitely, I think it uh, it looks like it belongs with the sniper rifle, I think. But yeah, um, it looks really cool. It's got these purple spikes up here, and it's just, I don't know. I think it looks really neat and interesting. Um, and then her katana, which is probably my favorite weapon of hers, and it's the weapon she uses all the time, because it's my favorite of hers, um, and Christy has the original version. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a great design. I don't remember who I originally saw this from, or something similar, it was something kind of similar, um, but I kind of changed it up a little bit just to make it kind of perfect for Miri. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's an amazing design for this, like, shadowy looking, uh, katana, and it was also kind of inspired by, uh, the ebony blade from Skyrim, it's this big giant katana, um, but yeah, so that's really cool, I like that a lot, um, yeah, let's get into the overview of Miri. So yeah, uh, that was Miri's review. Um, like I said, I'm maybe a little biased, but she's probably my one of my favorite characters, um, if not my favorite character, um, in Chronicles of Darkness, in anything I've made, in anything of the Hapori, honestly. Um, yeah, I love her. She's awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say, really, you know, she's she's a super cool character, she's a lot of fun, she's really badass, um, and then, you know, she's made, she's uh, she's based off of uh, an amazing person, so, you know, I mean, what more do you want me to say? Uh, but yeah, so, that was Miri's review, um, again, I love her, she's awesome, she's a super cool mock, she's a great character, and Christy does a fantastic job with her personality and her story, and she, you know, it's her self mock, you know, her voice and all that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you guys can request, uh, which mock you would like me to review next, um, in the Chronicles of Darkness, um, series. Um, and if that one gets, if, you know, one gets enough votes, then I will definitely, uh, review that particular mock next. So I'll, uh, see you guys next week on, 
a different day earlier in the week probably because I want to switch this to a different day so it's not on the same day as my bootleg reviews on the Hapori channel. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys don't know, I am reviewing knockoff sets on the United Hapori channel. I have so far reviewed three? Three knockoff sets. So, go check it out over there. There's some awesome recolors, great pieces, frustrating builds. It's a lot of fun, and obviously you should just check out the Hapori channel in general, because me, Thatch, Renzo, all these people um, just have a lot of fun on the podcast and stuff like that, and do different series and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. I recommend it, and uh, I'll see you guys sometime next week with some mock that you guys decide. See you later.